Heroic people of a great country. The liberation war of the Ukrainian people has been going on for five weeks so far. Our defense forces continue demilitarization of the Russian army, having already destroyed more than 4,000 units of various enemy equipment. This is more than most armies in Europe and the rest of the world have in their arsenals. And while our troops hold the defense firmly, we built a strong economic front so that the army is supplied and the country continues to live and work for victory. Today we can state that over the past week the country has begun to get back to work. Business begins to recover after the first shock. The set of decisions in the field of tax, regulatory, customs and credit policy has certainly contributed to this. At once, several of the largest plants start operating. In a couple of days, more than 120,000 entrepreneurs applied for the transition to a new 2% turnover tax system. Over the last 24 hours, a thousand new entrepreneurs have been registered through the DIA system. Already about 1.5 thousand manufacturing companies have applied for relocation. Several hundred have already moved or are in the process of doing this to continue their work. Suing has already begun in 20 regions of Ukraine. This is positive news because at the same time, last year the sewing season began in just 15 regions. We are cautiously optimistic about the area of spring crops. According to the current data, it is possible to sow the spring crops on 6 million hectares of land. This is 80% of the area which was sown last year. Today our farmers are no less courageous and dedicated to halting the front. According to the current data, it is possible to sow the spring crops on 6 million hectares. The future food security of the country and the world depends on them. We thank them for their courage and dedication. Thanks to the government order for social products, our food industry will expand new capacities and hire new employees. We are talking about 300 such enterprises. Let me remind you that the government buys 10 million food kits for Ukrainians in the frontline cities to distribute to people for free. These are packages of more than 10 key products. So far, 100% of cereals, pasta, oil, milk and sugar have been purchased. We also continue to buy canned products, grain, bakery, tea, coffee and other food. Ukrzalisnica, the state company of rail transport in Ukraine, and Ukrposhta, the national postal operator, together with civil military administrations, already deliver and distribute all these kits to people. We see that thousands of small and large businesses all over the country are coming back. So I appeal to the heads of banks, lend more actively and boldly to Ukrainian businesses within the support program 579. Today the country needs your determination. The government will also soon consider and approve a separate loan product for retail chains to revive their cooperation with Ukrainian producers. The government creates all the conditions to restart the economy and put it on military rails. This will give us the reserve of strengths and resources to defeat the enemy. The world continues to support Ukraine. Yesterday I spoke to the Prime Ministers of Poland and Norway. We are grateful for the support. Norway is contributing 20 million to the budget for the government to distribute to important programs. Before that, Norway also gave 200 million euros for humanitarian support. The Polish Council of Ministers has adopted a provision blocking coal imports from Russia at the national level. In addition, the country intends to refuse Russian oil as early as this year, a decent position which should be followed by other EU countries. We have agreed on 300 million euros worth of support from France and a grant of 120 million euros from the European Union. These funds will be allocated to the budget. Yesterday, President Volodymyr Zelensky also agreed to allocate 500 million to Ukraine as direct budget assistance from the US government. I thank everyone who supports Ukraine and the Ukrainian people. We continue to get thousands of tons of humanitarian aid from all over the world. Its total volume is already more than 173,000 tons. Ukrzaliznica has already delivered 41,000 tons to the regions, most of all to Kyiv, Kharkiv and Zaporizhia regions. We are working on a plan to restore Ukraine. To do this, we systematically calculate all losses.
Yesterday, in the DIA application, option to provide information about the destroyed property became available. In one day, we have already received more than 20,000 such applications. Our applications will be carefully proceeded, so that after our victory, the reconstruction was systematic. Separately, I would like to report that Ukraine is negotiating with the IAEA to bring its staff to Ukrainian nuclear power plants. This should contribute to the additional safety of our nuclear power plants and demonstrate the openness of Ukraine on such important issues. There are also agreements to receive various equipment for our nuclear facilities as international assistance. It is an important support. We are grateful for it. Dear Ukrainians, we continue to work. We thank and believe in the armed forces of Ukraine and our defenders. We believe in victory and do everything to bring it closer. Glory to Ukrainians, glory to Ukraine.